Okay, this conference asking... will now be recorded. So before that, I will be briefly discuss about means what is this layout thing. So first, we have to see. So VLSI is divided into two type. One is front end. Another is back end. Okay, so in the front end, so this is like you understand what is the front and back. So front end, front end is like your, uh, if you go for a software industry, there is a developer or, or you can tell like a tester or this type of industry as well. Even here also, we have VLSA industry, front end and back end. So front end people, so there is any domain generally we have divided into the chip means VLSA industry. VLSI means what? Very large scale industry. So in that industry, we have a mostly our 90% cheaper digital analog some part we will get IO or memory. So in the digital front end people call RTL design engineer. And back end people are called PD engineer, physical design engineer. Okay. And suppose PD people and for analog it is called analog design engineer, front end people. Back end is called analog layout or we are giving custom layout. So custom layout, I will come to the point. What is custom layout? is the analog layout for IO, IO design engineer and IO layout engineer. So memory, memory design engineer, memory layout and sometimes you will find a standard cell design engineer, standard cell layout but this is very rare, very few are there but mostly are digital analog some part then memory is a third then i okay and if you are doing io plus analog layout sometime you will be touch also standard cell so these are called custom layout yeah, anybody you want to ask in the So this is sir, called AD, custom. So AD is yeah. analog design on the front end. Yeah, yeah, correct. This is the analog design. Okay. And so uh, IO design, memory design, this is standard cell design. Okay, sir. Okay, and some time you will find PV, physical verification. That is suppose PD people whatever they will do some <clears throat> okay that preview uh, what PV people will do that come to our picture but later first you understand what is PD people are doing you will do also same thing for analog but they will be use some programming language so programming they will be tickle sometimes they will use Paul so these are using program language they will do what is our two will do by tool. Okay, so that thing I'll what our what I'll come to later. So by using tool we will do. So tool mostly uh, we have two types of tool. One is synopsis, another is cadence. Cadence tool is called Virtuoso. For synopsis it is called IC validator. So we have synopsis tool. So these are called tool com tool based companies like EDA based company. So you can search like synopsis, cadence. So these these company will provide you tools. So most of the even 
any front end or back end everything you will be designed by this synopsis cadence another is called mentor graphics so generally these three company are available but mostly synopsis and cadence mentor graphics one tool will be there to that very rare use so synopsis for layout tool it is called ic validator ic validator which we are going to study for cadence it is called virtuoso yeah. okay so now what we are going to do so before that if you see just in means what is vlsi people will do so if you full chip layout so these are seeing this is the work of a so chip chip means this is in vlsi industry this is the final so so in india actually they are going to start some fab company like uh, micron some company are going to set up but generally we don't have the manufacturing like we have previously one small that is like in uh, <clears throat> iit madras they have some own but these are small small chip foundry but big chip foundry is not available like load technology any technology pipe not specific foundry is there in india so now they are planning to but anyhow what we are going to do this thing you can see these are the layout structure so in this okay so before that you will go to what do you understand what is our work in the industry what we will do so if you see i'll just uh, like layman language if you will understand that will be if you don't know anything also how you will get to understand suppose you are starting a house so you purchase a land for that and you want to build a house so first you I think I can move it. I can silent. Yeah, Mohit, you can make your silent. If you are, there's some noise is coming. Okay, so so you have given some x axis and some y axis. Or like a, you purchase is some square foot house. Like this is x is hundred square foot. This is like hundred. This is like eighty square foot. So you have eighty eight hundred eight thousand square foot house. So you want to how you will plan first. So like you want to build a house. This is like this is like main building. Uh, like a master room. You have some study room. some entry point you have some balcony like that you plan is some entry point so this planning thing in the layout it is called this is step one process this is the planning or you hire some architect or so in the layout it is called your floor plan or you have area estimated so how much area you have to in this area i have going to so if you see i just say in the diagram so this is like four plant means how much area you have to calculate in that which are the thing means you have to planning like uh, some let us assume some in the chip also it not like a layout people do i mean i told you some digital block will fill there so that will be done by pd people so they will also use some area so it is not like you will be used some memory also there so memory layout people will use some io is there so io means okay let okay so our application our chip application like a mobile phone so your mobile phone chip is there okay 
so it is like what is application suppose if you see low technology like take a you can see snapdragon 865 that version is coming like uh, <coughs> every time the price also in if you see one plus mobile they are using the snapdragon model it is improving version like 5 nanometer 7 nanometer okay so what they are using so if you the performance so every time they are improving the performance in the sense so here okay so your power is taking your charging so there will be many apps is there you open in the mobile phone you open like 100 apps but if you see your charging will be late but if you close all apps the charging will be very fast so this is like in the mobile phone if okay so So in the mobile phone, if you see, so inside that, so in the chip, what are the devices are there? First, you have to understand. inside very large scale industry means they are. So our chip size will be generally it is range on uh, range hundred to three hundred mm millimeter but if your chip size it depends upon your requirement so that will be not a fix okay let uh, i'll just uh, give the language like so what is i'm telling nanometer so nano means if you know 10 to the power minus 9 so you have a mos so may generally our chip consists of c mos device so i'll discuss about this device so what is CMOS? If anybody is background from MTech, they can understand more. Even BTech also we have some way. So complementary metal oxide semiconductor. So that also I will discuss. Generally, this devices CMOS means it is consists of PMOS and NMOS. Okay and rest is register capacitor some supply yeah you can tell supply but that is not a what devices i am telling you, transistor register capacitor and pmos and mos so this devices will be your 90 percent will be these devices PMOS and NMOS. So, whole structure you will be play with PMOS device. If you see this, this inside inside are PMOS and NMOS devices. So, it is full of this. Okay. So, let its application generally. I will give you one example so you will be understand means cheap application not in mobile phone there are many application in in automobile is there they are suppose now EV, EV also they are using chip pairs charging so there are many application this is not a limited to mobile phone only so one example i'll given how it is working and how layout also important so our device first i told you okay let i completed this one so and so what layout people then i'll come to this i'll uh, give the application in the mobile phone how it is working so before that so first you need to four plan so this is the thing this is the planning like four plan means what planning now you want to this is i told you this is a master bedroom and this is balcony but this is you plan but you think this is not the correct you can play with like you will be arranged this you will be making balcony this is master bedroom okay so this thing you will be alternate but finally you have to lock it lock it means you are not allowed to further changes so that thing is called placement this is called final floor plan so this is placed so your devices like pmos and most devices will be placed i'll give you so there are many application our project so step by step will go so placement 
So once this is placement, means you, okay. So now I will relate it to. So you plan this house will be built. Now what will be? You will be start the building house. Like you purchased bricks, you will be connected like first floor, second floor, or like some nowadays some rods you will be used and like you will be connected. So cement and uh, it is like one brick, second brick like that you will be used. So here also this thing is called routing. Routing means you have the first route, route means connection. So this is routing you will do. So after placement, you will be start routing. Next. But whether you are doing correct or not, there will be some measurement. So when perfect shape, you will not supposed to do like this, bricks and uh, inside this. So there is a certain rule. So that rule is called DRC. DRC means design rule check. And this rule defined by foundry. So what is foundry? So if I tell you something like 7 nanometer, our, our generally will be used, our tool will be 28 nanometer. Okay. So this design rule, we have to follow certain rule for this 28 nanometer. Channel length will be 28. What is channel length? I will come to that. So before that, you should so 28 nanometer will be generally our tool will be support okay and because lower technology is very cost i think no institute is providing like 7 nanometer because that is a that tool itself is crore rupees so even that is like it is very costly okay anyhow this is we will be giving 28 nanometer here training okay so now as per that, we will follow. So, who, what are the found, foundries that you can see also nowadays? Uh, one company, Foxconn, is also there. So, they are typed with KSMC. The, this company is the ruling the foundry industry. It means they will the so whatever the cheap manufacture. You can the, the word will be manufactured. The cheap will be manufactured in this. So, 80 percent of the cheap. Even your Apple phone, everything at TSMC. These are the rules. Next, you have Intel Foundry. Have they have even Samsung also? They have own foundry. There are many global foundries there. But this this company is ruling. Okay, our also our technology mostly similar. Twenty eight TSMC, twenty eight nanometer. So what is TSMC? Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. So it is generally located in Taiwan. Okay. So now according to their foundry, we will follow certain rule. <coughs> okay. So next way, design rule check. You understand means what is the rule we have to follow according to the founder. Next, once this is building is done, you want to stay. So how? But that is not possible final check final means we have some architect he given plan and you build a house also according to that but he will be cross very well whether it is correct or not okay so that thing is like a lvs lvs means layout versus schematic so our front end people is called schematic means they will be designed schematic front end means suppose analog layout you are working because custom layout important is analog because mainly 80 percent is analog layout if you go for io layout sometimes some people also join standard cell layout okay so schematic designer is called analog Sir. designer yeah Sir. Then yeah, also we use floor planning and routing and uh, SDA and uh, everyone knows, sir. What is the difference between that one and this one, sir? Yeah, yeah, that I am telling now. So physical yeah, design what now? Okay. Can you mute your? Okay. One minute.
yeah i'll come to so his question is like what is the difference between pd and analog layout so generally analog and physical design engineer so first of all whatever we are doing they would also do but if you see digital digital mainly clock signal so if clock signal will be coming but generally analog will not find that much constant of clock so clock signal means we have a set of time hold time so there are many constant about clock synthesis so generally clock related thing that we will not take care they will be do so they are timing like any flop is there their clock time period so clock set up time whole time calculation okay and this thing whatever the fourth plan you will do so they will be use some programming language so if you are strong in programming language that's why i'm telling you tickle one language this is a skill you have to learn by programming language they will be arranged so this fourth plan thing drc lvs everything they will be done by program a drc lvs sometimes they will do pb people okay pd people i am telling they will be used tkl and pol language so this skill you have to learn but here no skill language even you don't know any skill language no you can go for analog layout if your background is okay so this is not a challenging but only you have to understand some analog concept so analog concept in the sense that will come to what is our syllabus you will be if your background is not from analog if you don't know anything also so here we are drawing manually manually means suppose we have a separate lecture for tool so we will be share the recording means what is the how to do but anyhow before that i'll give you some idea about so this is manually will be draw so this is will draw by manually suppose i want to draw in the tool tool i will draw like this so for connection so for this is one device this is another device so i will be draw manually this is the manual connection anyhow that is i will show if it is or we will share the recording of the only tool class tool recording you will be share okay so before you got the point or any doubt No, by using virtual yeah virtual yeah, tool will be used manually only so we don't need any so one skill language but after that experience so for fresher it is not required that is how to do automate your so they are generally doing automation but our automation will one language called skill so anyhow that is for experience if you go some company will be not used also because this is vary to company to company So skill one language, but any other that is for experience. If you even five to six year experience, some skill language, uh, some it will be faster. But you will not do everything by tool base. But they have to use because they are calculate set of time. This is the manually the language will be required. Programming language will be required for PD two. Okay, so what do we are going? So now this is the basics. So every layout engineer should be do this thing. This is the common fourth plan placement routing DRC and LPS layout versus schema. I mean, analog design is front end people told them anything. Back end should be math because what is if you they are telling something you are telling doing something or you are doing something but they are not following. So this is like a communication should be required between front end and back end. That is called LPS layout versus schema. okay so now this is the basic thing so now we'll be go step by step what are the syllabus so before that we have a 6 month training you will be got some basic about say so here also tickle basic you will be learn linux some basic they will be covered in the two month if somebody advanced training will be welcome but two month will be basic training course So in that you will be learn some MOSFET, BGT. So generally our analog layout people some basic need some 
is <coughs> like I'll given some RC resistance calculation. So for two register in series. So some basic will be covered like two one. So this is what is the R equivalent. So you know R equivalent R1 plus R2, 1 plus 2. If it is two parallel like that, some basic thing you have to learn. This is mostly interview, they will ask this. Next. MOS. So our CMOS concept. So CMOS, I just uh, revise. Sir, inductance is also present in the uh, chip. You said resistance yes. and capacitance. Yeah, so inductance will be there for array playout. So for this RF. is also, yeah, correct. Radio frequency. Radio. Only for inductor will be there. Not okay. for other, like uh, analog layout, it will be not there. Okay, sir. Okay. So next is us. Yes, so CMOS. So if I draw a so MOSFET is generally so our name is you can see MOSFET. Metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So we have four terminal here source, drain, bulk, another is gate. Okay, if bubble is there, that is called P MOSFET. If it is like this, get source drain and bulk or sometimes it is called body so that is this is called n mosfet so p mosfet means p channel mosfet n means n channel so p type of semiconductor n type of semiconductor you might have know before so this basic thing i will be covered later okay so this what i am telling suppose somebody ask you what is 7 nanometer okay so if you see the this is your called symbol view. If you see PMOS and MOS, how it will be looks like this is a symbol. But if you see the cross-sectional view that I am drawing a PMOS. Better instead of drawing, maybe. Share the PPT. So every class you will be accessed through our PPT. So all the PPT will be available. And you know, MOSFET I told you this is for terminal. So you know unipolar. <coughs> like BJT we have two bipolar. So it is a unipolar. So generally MOSFET 2 will be voltage control device. It is high input impedance like this. Okay, let whatever already I told this thing is there. So this is the symbol P channel N channel. Okay. So now, 
we have two type of MOSFET is called enhancement another deflation so generally will be used enhancement type so enhancement type means your channel will be not there okay so you will apply some voltage here channel will be created okay so let's see as you know if you apply so here a isolation if you see this is the isolation gate is not electrically connected okay so if you apply voltage like capacitor two metal this is like insulator or dielectric so if you apply positive voltage then it will be attract your negative yeah because positive will be attract negative like north pole will, will will attract south pole similarly same thing will be happen here positive will be charge attract negative so if you see here in the gate gate is like a control okay so mosfet so much if you till if you don't understand anything you can relate to our mosfet like a pipe in your water pipe water pipe a tap you can see so in the tap if you rotate this one this is like act as a gate this source drain is like a water flow water will be continuous flow if you open that gate so gate is controlling your water level so water is like a your charges for n type like electron if it is p type holes so holes like a water so holes will be flow continuously until this gate is open so here gate is controlling this water flow so similarly in the channel if you apply negative voltage positive here n well okay so here this is a bulk i told you this is the bulk or body body is covered by n well so n well is the majority carrier suppose 1000 number of it is just a number to understand electron then 10 number of holes this is called minority carrier annual limits more concentrated will be electron hole will be minority carrier this hole are present like positive charges will be present like this not a one place is distributed now when you increase the negative voltage what will happen this hole will be deposit here okay so now if you apply some voltage here suppose i apply some 4 volt something then current will be start to flow there is this is the channel this is your called channel so whatever you are seeing now 7 nanometer this is channel line okay 10 nanometer you have many nanometer 14 nanometer even nowadays also 300 nan texas instrument are using 300 nanometer 130 nanometer So you will be applied some voltage here current will be start to flow okay so this is and your bulk through block it will be bulk generally connected to ground any other concept will be tell later for time being you understand what is channel p mosfet so p mosfet will be turned on when your gate will be negative voltage So negative voltage actually practically not possible that is called as zero so actually if you see a digital signal or any how it will be this zero this is one this zero one binary 
so either 0 or 1 so negative voltage so when you apply 0 this PMOS will be on so current will be start to flow charges will be start to flow okay next So N MOS. So this is just naming because in the real time they will be used this type on you can tell P U L or P substrate. Uh, generally naming will be P substrate you can tell P OL also this is OL inside the OL it is situated okay so your N plus okay why plus okay that is also I you know some people are having why sometime N type of semiconductor means okay this I will come to this point some people will not understand see every basic will be covered so don't need to worry about if some people because types of material so how it is come in time even you don't know also because some people I know from electrical background they might have forget in the picture Okay, that much basic I am not going so generally our material is okay so MOSFET means what are first is metal so metal you know it is a conductor so conductor means it will be suppose whatever your household if you see the aluminium wire these are called conductor so first you know MOSFET so metal you understand oxide means it is insulator Okay, so material is divided in two types, three types. One is conductor, insulator, another is semiconductor. But our industry is now semiconductor. It is semiconductor industry means we have silicon and germanium. Okay, so generally whatever we will be see by using silicon or germanium. Mostly silicon will be used. Okay, so next is how they are arranged if it is depends upon energy band that yeah so if their energy band is very more and this is a conduction band this is a valency band like six electron volt then you will be you will get insulator if very nearer but not that much nearer semiconductor conductor means that overlap In that electric ball this silver is this is an example but anyhow our real time you will be see aluminium mostly aluminium or copper silver little bit costly but some chips they are using silver also but this two is common aluminium or copper the metal okay so you know group four element is so our discussion will be silicon and german because these are semiconductor okay and this is a group four element okay but if you see semiconductor is not a so what is the drawback of semi is not a good conductor what about I draw the diagram here you want to pass the current you could check this 700 nanometer I told you like that in your chip it will be like millions number sometimes you will not millions or you can tell like 10,000 number of devices this type of devices will be present in the full chip so even initially I saw the diagram so they are full of these devices here okay so you want to pass the current so it should be semicon through semiconductor you cannot pass that current it should be behave like a metal how 
so for that we are discussing so for that we need so semiconductor divided one is intrinsic another is extrinsic intrinsic means we are not adding any impurities that is also called as a doping okay so that i'll be come to that point so generally semi silicon and germanium it is not a it cannot carry current that much high so it is a drawback so we have to behave like a metals I mean semiconductor behave like a metal how to improve the conductivity so how can you increase the conductivity by adding the doping so doping means if you add group 5 element so if you see group 5 element generally arsenic phosphorus or group 3 element boron and aluminum if you add this this will be more conductive so group 3 element group so if you add group 5 element this will be become n type semiconductor now you will get idea means why i am telling n type of semiconductor n type means you are adding group 5 element it behave like a n type n type means more number of electro electron generally p type means holes okay so like look this is like you understand uh, like in cinema hall you are watching movie so it is like a stable suddenly somebody told there is a bomb inside this so what everybody will start moving so due to some disturbance everybody start moving so this is like a electron you take like a electron so this electron will be start moving by adding some doping so here so uh, you know that uh, <coughs> Pauli's exclu exclusive you might have studied in the 10th or 2 like atomic principle everybody wants some octet rule stable they want to do stable state so when you are previously all some stable so now some group 5 elements some extra electron is added so this entering here so this will be become going to there this is like a start moving it is not be stable here moving then again try to enter then again it will become more then it will be it is keep on moving so unbounded free electron is moving even group 3 element there is a vacancy so to make stable suppose neighbor here electron is come here it is become stable but here vacancy then here it will be moved so it is like octet rule everybody tried to achieve that you can understand that way cinema only will be a given the example okay i'm not going that much but you can understand in that way so like electron is moving means what see flow of electron is called current definition of current means what flow of electron so how or flow of holes or hole will be opposite direction but first uh, electron will be created then hole. hole is like a vacancy of electron okay that concept will be. so this you understand why n plus okay. n plus means the concentration of electron is more that's a given plus it is behave like a conductor okay channel length you understand and MOSFET you understand Okay, some layout dependent secondary dependent, that I will come to again. Some network theory, I got resistance. Suppose you want to calculate the voltage, some tricky, like you know, some basic, but suppose I will ask like this. A and B point calculated R equivalent. Okay, some tricky also they will ask. So, what is the equivalent resistance? Anybody? Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Am I audible? Sorry to disturb yeah, you. Yeah, you are audible. Uh, is there any session related to the tool what we are going to use? And is there any demo related to any inverter or any gates? 
in this session yeah yeah i'll yeah, yeah it will be last will be come even we'll be share the recording for that okay thank you Okay, so suppose this type of question in interview they ask. So this point is A and this point is B. So A to B A to B 3 ohm again A to B 6 ohm then A to B 2 ohm. So all three are parallel. So 6 3 parallel is 2 ohm. Parallel means A to B divided by A plus B. So this is 2 ohm. Again this 2 ohm is parallel to 2 ohm. So this is 1 ohm. Okay, so like this because many interview will ask and here you will be get advantage many people are selected my previous this is I am taking last four year I am working last 4.5 year in this VLSI I work Taxila VLSI Guru training institute so many people also got selected in analog design also so will be some RC circuit, some basic also will be covered. Okay, so next. So what is the extra thing or next time coming to project. So what project we are going to cover. So in the analog layout will be cover level shifter, current mirror, smith trigger, operational amplifier. So op-amp you have studied in the BTEC. So like A, B, So V out equal to your gain into V A minus. This is the you have studied in BTEC or MTEC. But we will go the inside structures. Means everything. So let I will be. Everything will be designed by PMOS and NMOS on register capacitor that I told you. And if for RF <coughs> that is not uh, our course mm -hmm. like RF layout generally will not come. Means inductor will not come. So register and capacitor and MOS device. So this is one example. Suppose we want to design inverter. So inverter means this is the symbol of the inverter. So if you are sending A output uh, 1, output will be 0. If you are sending 0, it will be 1. This is the operation. But we have to design using by CMOS. So how? You will be connected PMOS and NMOS. Okay, so now how it is behave like an inverter? If I sending zero, so let this is high volt, this is zero. So 0 means PMOS will be on. Okay, this is like a two switch. You just understand this is a switch. So this switch will be on. This is off because I told you initially NMOS will be on by one. High voltage that will be one. PMOS will be turned on by 0. So this is on output will be 5. 
so whenever you are sending zero output is five volt five volt in digital it will be like a one volt okay now if you are sending one nmos will be on so this switch will be on so output will be connected to ground ground is zero so whenever one it will be zero okay so first see this is tool anybody can do in the industry many people but interview crack is you need to know, to know for fresher i am telling experience tool is important basic they will be asked so first our important is two month will be basic you have to learn all the basics that will be cover see nobody in the interview ask draw the tool interview question after practice you can drc lvs clean how to do a better tool layout engineer you can that will be come to fast but interview first they will be cover the basic how basic you are strong must fit layout dependent defect also i'll come that point so that's why i'm giving important even any institute if you go this basic is important that's why i'm giving some important point okay let suppose you want to design a nand gate everything will be designed by cmos suppose you want to design a nand gate by using pmos and nmos nothing will be there okay so what is the point a dot p whole bunch this is nand gate symbol okay so here you will be learn one trick dot means series okay so blindly if you feel if you, there is a dot i will make it series so a b the series of a what we will do n mos n mos is series if there is a plus for like or gate nor gate you will be get a plus symbol okay that point i will be come so here this is a series of a n mos opposite and for p mos it will be parallel if dot means series for n mos p mos is parallel okay let i will do and whether it is correct or not will be verify so n mos i am making series generally n mos will become bottom that also i will be tell then p mos is parallel this is blindly do okay so you know the truth table a b the output the v out so a equal to 0 0 0 1 so nand gate you know 0 0 means 1 1 1 0 okay we have to cross check whether this is correct or not so if i am sending 0 first case 0 0 So zero means this will be on. This will be on. So output is connected to VDD. See, this is output one. Okay. Any case, last one, one one, A one, A one. So these two will be on. V out will be VSS. VSS in ground. At that time, this will be open. Okay. So this trick it will be helpful for any interview. Any of this is I am just giving. So all the device. So what is the next project we have? now i will be tell the application so standard cell this will be here it is mention okay 
okay this ppt will be shared by our institute so you can take also whatever the syllabus will be covered anyhow i'll be cover everything then you will be come to tool basic okay so next level shifter by using so i'll tell you just application so why we are going to use in the analog block these are the mostly analog so wherever your opamu is there this is a analog block. ldo load dropout so a regulator your voltage regulator so for regulating voltage one application band gap reference so what is the application of band gap reference bgr also you can call so bgr application means let take a your mobile phone you are taking in cold area even you go to kashmir even highest temperature area the performance should be same so what is this means your temperature irrespective of the variation of temperature the output voltage remains same even minus degree celsius if you minus 4 degree celsius your mobile phone will be operate so inside that your every mobile phone that will be one bgr band gap reference why irrespective of temperature there are many applications not not only mobile phone some devices also they are using So main definition is irrespective of temperature variation, the output voltage remains constant. So this mm -hmm. is the BGR application. Next is PLL, phase lock loop. Okay, so phase lock loop, these are the project, one on project, like you will be add in the resume. You can see in the three, four experienced people also, they will be add mm -hmm. this project definitely for analog layout, you can see. Okay, so this you will be learn new, so that is not a issue. Any mostly everybody will also minimum zero to three, one to three year people also will see. Definitely they have to do. Otherwise their reasoning will not be shortlisted. Okay, so PLL. Okay, so application is phase lock loop. So what is the application? It is like a regenerating your frequency in terms of one to ten gigahertz. So it is capable to if you generate high frequency generally in your like uh, experiment lab if you see that is crystal oscillator will be there that will frequency in terms of megahertz but pll it will be capable to generate in terms of gigahertz frequency this is the application short test so sardes application serializer and deserializer so it is one application is pen drive so pen drive okay this is your one is laptop you connected your pen drive so pen drive you have some data and your laptop will be like a blank you want to transfer data that is called transmitter or receiver means laptop to pen drive okay the data will be transferred through pen drive through connection is there so that is how it will be transferred one is serializer and deserializer serializer and deserializer if the service full form is serializer and deserializer okay another thing will be adc so any analog signal it will be converted to digital that application is adc that means a digital signal is the analog so these are the project so anyhow you know that is if, if i one project if i pll if i discuss that will be two class only it will be six to seven hours okay i am just giving the basic thing okay till Open now anybody will be single stage only no we will be used double stage also will be used Okay. Oh, yeah, here it is written, but we will be use single plus double stage. Okay, so initially when I discuss about stick diagram, I did discuss this is like a planning. Stick diagram means you will be drawing manually in the pen and paper. Suppose we want to draw inverter, how do see in the layout? So that 
planning is called stick diagram and she will be represented by so p mos one diagram this is like a helpful for connection so just to understand stick diagram uh, this is the flow like any schematic designer see this is the front end they will be compared like layout also will be done both will be compared this is the verification it should be match layout net list means it will be sent like one gds graphical data system okay that i'm not going so like whatever schematic you will do whatever the layout you will do that will be compared okay even this compare is called lvs layout verse so in that when it is come verification result okay lvs means schematic and layout will be compared already i discussed this is just a flow like layout people will do schematic will do but this will be compared and that will be caught in lvs so this is the layout our tool diagram this is a screenshot of our tool how to be looks like so any project this is like a PCO, voltage control accelerator. It is the part of PLL. So PLL, okay. So I'm not going that much. So anyhow, PLL inside you will be see. So this is a big project. Even some company, they will be taken like six month type of. It depends upon complexity of the design. Okay, so PLL inside you will be fine test detector charge from the generative frequency it is a challenging and vco low pass filter vco is voltage control oscillator they are also inside oscillator will be there then low pass filter frequency divider okay even will be cover layout dependent effect this is the inside that many concept is there I mean what is the after doing layout what are the drawback is there okay so we will find electro migration one is called antenna effect oil proximative so this is the new concept for related to layout <coughs> length of diffusion sti shallow transition these are the part of layout different latch up okay so what is the if you do layout you will see some drawbacks so this is purely related to layout and finfet okay finfet below 16 nanometer all the technology are called finfet okay and finfet whatever we will be studies in a planner finfet is a three dimensional there are many concept fins fin fed okay fin mosfet and finfet what is the different mean here first you learn about fin fin if you see okay i'm not going that much depth i'll just give you idea fin is the part of your fish fish if you see it is the supporting element like for fet one supporting element because it is very lower 7 nanometer 4 nanometer designing is very challenging okay so that much lower technology it needs uh, some support just try to understand okay so those are not understanding i'm just giving idea because some people are very complex like what is fin fed so fins as you understand fins the piece you will find see these are fin so if fish is try to swimming in the water it needs the support of fin similarly this mosfet need a support uh, even this diagram also so we have source drain get everything will be there so fin is a supporting okay in that just a simplify you will be not confusing here also so we have number of fin will be increased that is a okay, supporting to get so get is supporting Planner means you don't need a thing, only source drain gate. This is the planner structure. Source drain gate. 
okay that fabrication also will, how this fabrication is done that is also one topic even will be covered so here you have i will be mentioned see see most fabrication so that is also a two three class you will get to know what is fabrication means how what is the layout before you should know some basic concept otherwise directly if i jump to layout you will be confused so now first um, i'm planning to yeah till now anybody having doubt any query sir when is the finfet used and when is cmos used no no okay. cmos inside is a so finfet is what i told you if it is lower technology so fin, that name is changing before 16 nanometer less than 16 meter any technology that is called finfet higher level like 28 nanometer 45 40 65 these are called planner because it needs a support otherwise it would be break you got the point now huh? planner structure it will not break because the nanometer you understanding now is 10 to our minus yes. even it is it is not visible to your eye also so that needs yes. a support yeah. so that's why i'm telling below 16 nanometer you need a definitely a finfet structure means it will be replaced by a pin pin will be there fet will be common every new field of a transistor they are source drain Good. gate everything will be there bulk also will be there but only extra thing is fins that is just a supporting to your gate even i saw the diagram you got the point yes sir there are many challenging suppose uh, okay you will not understand what is the mask double patterning okay so pin fed you will be there are many difference not only here there are uh, the layer changes so i'm not going that much but first you understand this is the pin fed okay now why we are going to pin fed here see your channel length will be very small but this is three nanometer your suddenly current will be four because for electron this is like a source or drain it see very lower path so it will be travel very fast so current will be very high suppose your speed suppose you want to turn on a device this device or gate or np mos or nmos you want to turn on you will apply this is a very small you need only one electron so very less voltage you apply this become activate suppose your mobile phone your charging will be very fast nowadays if you see all the phone are replacing there here we will starting to use 5 nano before they are 7 nanometer 10 nanometer also mediatek also they are using a mediatek one company there if you see some mobile phone samsung also they have one finder a media tech but that will be not charges very fast okay some mobile phone are charging very fast why because they are reducing that delay because it will be high current will be flow charging time will be very fast okay so that is the advantage of but drawback is also there some application we cannot use the camera it is taking time there will be higher no. <clears throat> So for faster it is correct so we won't need a fast even their r d like below th now it is three nanometer when it is fabrication is done but below three nanometer they are trying to plan so, okay so maybe we will take some break i will be comfort tool and before that anybody having theoretical doubt no sir okay so i'll be break for two minutes we set up the tool okay some break for two minutes i'll be show the tool right okay
Yeah, sorry for little delay. So anybody miss also you have collect the <coughs> recorded session of the tool so we have to separate like two hour around we have recorded for tool recording but anyhow i'll give you within an update five minutes so if it is working i'll show you
one second actually my tool is not working now Sir, it's okay, sir. If possible, share at least one video related to the uh, tool. Yeah, yeah. So, layout. yeah, that. So, our <clears throat> technical team is Manor. Okay. okay. So, you can. Uh, so, sorry for little. <coughs> so, I didn't set up the tool. Okay. So, he will be all the recorded of the tool. If anybody having any doubt regarding that video, please watch the recorded session. If anybody having doubt, okay. you can contact me also. Okay, so any oil. Okay, if you are interested, you can. Sir, I need. Uh, yeah. I need one simple layout. Uh, uh, layout demo video related to the analog to digital converters. Is it possible to share, sir? No, that is not possible because ADC is a big. This is like a. We have okay. So ADC, we what project? ADC is four type. If you go to okay. one is flash at least ADC. you you can share uh, ah yeah, yeah yes sir yes sir I need some uh, layout uh, layout yeah, uh, so generally we will do video yeah yes sir hmm. ADC successive application ADC type so this is we cannot share directly demo means you will be get to you got at least we'll you can you. share open ah open made <coughs> I'll talk to the management because this is not my hand. But demo will okay, be okay. initially will be so, huh? But inverter it generally will show. But upam thing. It is my. It oh. is not my hand. You got the point, na? Huh? Oh. Because this is like one ah, project. Yes, okay. Okay. I. Uh, so if you request, they can share. This is like Manor or Sar also. Senior Sar. So okay. they can. So out. Uh, Understood. Na? So ADC will be covered SR and flash, SR uh, <coughs> flash type ADC. But this is a big project. Flash type. How many bit old. ADC are going to cover, sir? How many bits? So this Coming is to like the flash, how many four, bits four, you are going to cover? Four, four bits. Four bits. Yeah. Four bits. Okay. What about so SR? This, here four bit. Here two type ID. Two bit, four bit, both will be covered. Two bit, four bit, and flash in SAR, sir. You are going to cover both uh, uh, layout yeah. and uh, simulation. Simulation is for designer. Simulation is not for layout people. The simulation. Okay, let me clarify. What a designer okay. will do? Yeah, this simulation will be done by analog designer. Okay. Yeah. So our done will be DRs. Art as I told the floor. Fourth plan will do. Placement will do. Planning like routing and DRC. You are going to physical, uh, physical design related top part part. Correct, correct, correct. The Not matter. simul simulation. Yeah, simulation is analog design. If you join analog design, they will be teach you simulation thing. Oh. So anybody you having doubt? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You are so directly you giving do, layout for that. Correct. So okay. you want to do a simulation? I will give you idea. We have a tool LT Fly. Size. Okay. This is free tool, so you will not be purchased. You can download in the laptop. See LT size, you can freely you get. See LT size. Okay. So there you can any schematic the value will be take or you will be given the value W by L ratio. You can put and you can run the simulation. Simulation. Okay. Anybody having doubt? Because that is the full of analog design course. That is not power. You got the point now. What is you want to do? Check. Yeah, you yeah. can do LT. Yeah. LT. Sir, ASIC, ASIC verification and uh, analog design is same or different, sir? No, that is different. ASIC very big ASM is okay. Let. So as I told you in the digital, we have a RTL. PD one is called DFT will be fine here whatever the RTL people will do it is correct or not that will be done by DV 
digital verification that is called also some company asset verification okay okay so for this you okay. have to know about very log program so all okay. these like your yeah you have to mastery about very log so very log in the sense okay, see our pmos and mos and uh, suppose nand gate nor gate you have to design by very log command so that is asset verification you have to this script okay. language will be analog layout doesn't require any coding sir yeah analog layout it does not require. it is like is a concept so basic concept then you will do how to do a better for plan so we have a matching also so this part i didn't tell till now means how to do a better, better for plan means how to you will need it this is like art of layout is like art if you how okay. better you make yeah so this is like a you are building a house how better you plan this is like a architect how better you plan so this arrangement these are arrangements how we will do better so that is the thing as per your requirement so there is some constant some rule so that trick you will be learning so like I, one example i told you matching so there are suppose <clears throat> okay let take a example our inverter this pmos will be need current let assume 1 milliampere but your this will pass through this supply current okay so this width should be I mean like this is like aluminum wire that wire should be carry as per the rule it will require 2 micrometer width this is just an example i am giving okay as per technology will be different don't confuse so but you didn't design you don't draw a metal means whatever you okay what is this means whatever you will do in the tools it will be replicate in the okay full chip how will see chip set so this is a chip it will be hardware Listen, hardware you will be see like this your devices will be like this so whatever layout you will be do it will be see in the it should be operated if you pass the current so these are the see you are seeing this is the final chip okay in the final chip you will be see this is the side you are seeing these are called IO input or output pads pin so here current will be enter or it some signal will be enter it depends upon the operation this is the chip side this is inside this layout too they will be fabricated so like i told you one example tsmc one company is there like grow up under intel they will product this is the chip final chip okay suppose the where if you made, see small mistake you will instead of two micrometer it will be carry more width means you carry more current as you know this is the width is two micrometer this is a minimum two micrometer width you did it can carry this is the electron will be enter suppose you did only one micrometer width so what is happen this is not sufficient to carry one milliampere current so this chip will be not operate or it will be damaged because if you see short circuit in your house suddenly spike occur the short circuit happen because short circuit means what huge number of charges will be entered so this is the one example i am telling anyhow this will be you know the rule you have to follow the rule then automatically so this trick you will be taught you here means what mistake you will not do in the real time you got the point even pd people also they will show this is how complex it is the routing so this is the challenge or nothing you will, you will be do manually only this is not you will be drawing you will be change the way how to draw this is like a drawing tool only you will be draw you will not do any scripting language for this for that you that's why some basic thing like register i told you okay some cable kcl concept some basic that will be covered how this operating then if you know the everything 
then you can have better layout in there. So this is like you will be studying. So this is not like I will be forcing you to join this course. This is you can. <coughs> You have talked with senior or LinkedIn. Many people are there. So, what is the best tutor? Some people are interested in coding. Okay. So, in industry, many challenges in in VLSA industry. Okay, let me tell you. So, if you are interested coding, so go for RTL or TV. So very log programming is very. You can for digital verification. It depends upon interest. Some people for analog like electrical or some people who don't want to go for coding, want to manual. See, in VLSA industry, salary will be same every field. Your there is if you want to go for salary, everywhere will be same. Even analog layout, an analog design. Some company analog design because this is also more salary, sometimes less, but. After some year experience, it will be same one. Initially, they will be good, but after three four years, your salary will be same. It's company to company. Your talent will be fixed. Some analog layout is not like a, you can go for. Okay, another advantage for custom layout. You can switch to analog layout, physical verification, I/O layout, even memory layout also you can go. Okay, so. This opening, so that is the advantage. Analog design means only analog design, or you can go for I/O design. Okay, DV also one. If you learn for DV, <clears throat> so that is the advantage here. So it is not like you will be one industry every time. Even some analog layout people, but that is for initially one year. You can go for this is analog design with challenges. So this is a frankly speaking, this will be. Because front end people will be little challenge, because they are will be architect. It is not like ADC will be done. You have to understand the ADC performance, the output, what they want, cheap requirement, cheap requirement in the sense, cheap performance. So that you need. This is the analog design is challenges and RTL also a challenges. Front How will be the job opportunities? Sir. Yeah, job opportunity generally it will be so a. Uh, Uh, in the like <clears throat> from back end people will be more okay let how will be in the industry more back end people require compared to front end it is like if analog design is 10 layout people require 20 yeah it depends upon suppose lower technology this ratio will be more Similarly, RTL design and DV. DV you can see DV engineer will be more means front end compared to the even PD also. So back end opportunity will be more compared to RTL designer, analog designer. But compared okay. to physical design, how will be the opportunities in analog layout? Can I know? This is almost uh, almost same. PD and uh, analog layout uh, and uh, see the industry is uh, sometime it will be high and sometime also fall like uh, market will be a little bit less opening so it depends upon so now it is so previously six month now it is uh, industry is going to be good nowadays means it will be started recovery if you one if you see like six or seven month the opening was very less. Means very one two company only. Yeah. So now it is it is not uh, it is about the recession. So now it is going little bit. So after six month, it will be definitely good. Means we are expecting. Even I am also industry for six plus year. Okay, I will not tell the which company. I am also working a part company. So I did uh, so because it is not allowed to share like. If a company will know that it will be different. Okay, so that's uh, the thing. It is so fast is important is just enter the industry. It is your choice, but entry is the important. Then salary will be come, and don't worry about initial stage of salary. After three year, the industry now current market is fifteen to twenty lakh easily you will get. 
okay so this is any field i am telling and part company if you join that will be good but part company mostly will be the what their hiring from tier 1 college means if you tier 1 the internship they will be converted or they will be mtech or uh, nit or iit they will be hired so institute very less chance but that is 10% all institute but initially that is a two industry one is service company one is part company the so service company you will be easily get 3 to 5 like in this range initially but after 3 year experience you will be equivalent to part company salary so initially so don't uh, if you are getting also just entry is the important point then later will be okay so vlsi industry any field you just enter the point later your salary will be increased so don't worry bro okay any other this is the point yeah, any doubt any other having doubt this tool recording you can get through by manor you can ask if don't get i will be take another class if you require if many people are interested then i will take excuse me sir yeah sir uh, is there any possibility to enter industry after gap of 10 years we were in, we are in uh, some other field now okay Pr- present i am pa- uh, pursuing phd related to vlsi only okay uh, i'm pa- uh, i have completed my m tech in 2010 and now uh, now i have the 10 12 plus years of teaching experience is it possible uh, is it good choice yeah. now to switch to industry yeah you can enter so so you are doing phd directly from your institute means direct from your college you don't have any option because some phd also directly coming if you are doing some good okay. like full time are you doing full time then okay. it will be no 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 i am doing part time okay yeah uh, but you will be getting up also many my two student got also okay they uh, they did phd but got the offer so that is not like but you can go for analog design also okay but which, uh, but there is many option people are getting the job also after phd and so even some it domain people also switching and but the uh, salary thing that is i cannot tell because you, they cannot match because you will be expect now so okay. this thing uh, this is i cannot tell you that you will be get good salary now it depends upon company okay. like okay. i told you now if you got part company then you will be get good salary even any domain like you not only analog layout domain design also minimum they will given 12 to 20 lakh also mm. okay for my case uh, uh yeah please sir please carry on hey you can get uh, <coughs> continue sir uh, for my case analog design is suitable or analog layout is suitable sir it will be good uh, design my, my top my my phd topic is related to the analog and mixed signal design and then you can go for analog design analog design okay but it is you have to take the that challenge it will be challenging so generally those who interested for analog design is not a guaranteed okay let okay. me clear about it is the hiring mostly they will be go for iit nit student even okay. i did also uh, even i am from nit but i didn't get that opportunity it is little challenges okay, okay. and this is, this is also lock your institute they are coming one two people they will be select if you not the part of then I, you have to switch some other thing okay like that okay. what happen uh, most part company they will be come from iit nit even they will not come to institute also okay i told you two people of my stu- student got one guy samsung but he didn't get directly it it is lock also he got contact for 6 month then they make it for now so vlsi guru only okay so it is it depends okay. upon the uh, lock also so sometimes lock reference also help in this industry so that's why i'm not i'll not tell the this is the guarantee job okay okay but you have the already you did so that will be good so other i don't know okay 
already okay. you did phd from in this uh, so you can try for another design okay yeah any other having doubt thank you sir career gap will become any problem during the hiring sir no no it will be see some to company, six years so. that is in vlsa that's why you, you will be go only service company initially service company okay let me tell service company what they are doing they will be train six month even sometime they will not train and they will be real time tool they will train and that is a client like for company they have client they will show them like this <clears throat> candidate has capability to do two year people so you will be what this is also their need some company they are doing like this so they are searching only those are having career gap some people some company this is not every company i'm doing so they will be trained and they are sending to client this guy we have already two year is our wax experience they have the capability to, to handle two year okay so this is also some service company uh, so they will be hired 2020 pass out like that they are doing also 22 some okay. range they will be okay so it is not like every company there is also people are starting career even gap also okay sir. yeah any other having doubt uh, hi sir neha this side so i just uh, wanted to know whether uh, placement support will be provided or uh, because i do have uh, around 1.5 years of gap in my career because uh, i was with the telecom industry previously so is it okay to now join vlsi industry and how it will be like the placement support and all uh, from your uh, institute side a placement thing you can talk to our cinevas sir so they can see i am the trainer i can best train you i can industry standard training will be provided okay but it is the in some company will come to our institute so you will be get and also it depends upon market suppose market company is not hiring so this is i cannot get not guarantee you're getting now it is depends upon purely market so market is lots of fresher opening you will be get easily you got the point uh, so and yeah. uh, some some company will be come to our institute so it is it is your choice so i will not be forced you like join this institute or uh, you have to talk and another thing i told you sinivas sir because he is the our uh, manager he will be bring to company to our institute okay so yeah. let uh, you, you can talk to him directly because I am trainer, so placement thing he will be take care. Our institute will be take care. Okay. Sure, sure. And one yeah. more thing, uh, the training will be like done by teaching by you or some other trainer will be there. No, no, I will be trained. You will be taught. Okay. And some basic they will be, so advanced course will be done by me. Okay. Uh, some basic like you will be learn, uh, learn also some <coughs> common topic like some language also scripting some basic they will be teach take care linux and this theory also they will be covered again i also i will revise but some basic programming language i will not done so this thing will be covered by other people okay okay thank you Okay, so that's all. Anybody, any other having doubt or we can close. Okay, so thank you so much.